whole number. Before this, you have started natural numbers. It's a type of number category. Fine. You're starting natural numbers. Very basic number system. We can be introduced right from your schooling time. The day when you gone to school and before school also your parents introduce you with this kind of number system, which is so-called natural numbers, starting from one, two, three, four, and so forth, so on. Number goes on infinitely. There's no ending to number. Fine. Second type of number you are introduced is whole numbers. What's the difference? All of you do watch carefully. Only zero is introduced before one. Zero, one, two, three, four. Falls into the category of whole numbers. Understood? Zero before one. Otherwise, you know the number system starts from one. That is represented by natural numbers and capital N is denoted for whole number W2. Okay? These are the way. Okay. I know it's a language. Yes. Now, these two number systems are in your course, and there are many others also, which you're going to do in answering sessions. Now, whole numbers. You will say that how to represent whole numbers. The first way I'm going to teach you is on number line. Right? Representation of whole numbers on number line, which you're already aware of. Because number, natural numbers were also represented on number line. And similarly, whole numbers were also be represented on number line. So the number line concept. Number line concept. All of you do have scales. All of you do have scales. With the help of scale, we we'll draw a line. And there's a marking on the scale. On one side, it's centimeter, the other side is inches. You will take hold of the centimeter side. That starts on one centimeter, two centimeter. You will make at a reasonable distance. You will do the marking of the number line, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. So, since we are starting whole numbers from zero, so we will represent whole numbers accordingly. Zero, one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. Because numbers are, yes, numbers are indefinite. Infinite number system is there. There's no ending to numbers. Right? How many of you have understood this one? Please give me the thumbs up. Very good. Now, what is the purpose of representing whole numbers on a number line? As you all know, everybody has done four operations on natural numbers. Doubles, plus, minus, multiplication, and divide. These are the four operators which you have performed on natural numbers. Right? Now, here, Sabne, Abhita, you have started it in class five, the four operations are in under natural numbers. Plus, minus, multiplication, division. Everybody is aware of? Now, the similar pattern, these operators are going to be performed with whole numbers also. With whole numbers also. Okay? <clears throat> Now, I'm going to show you how to do addition on number line. I'm taking an example, seven plus, or I'm taking an example, four plus three. Four plus three, okay? Four plus three. So how you're going to perform, you will start with zero and you will reach till four, right? You will reach till four and then it's an addition of plus three. You have to make pop of three numbers. After four, mop of three numbers, one, two, three. This is seven, okay? Four plus three, others also you know it's very simple, seven. Keep this thing in mind, addition, you know, otherwise you do. I mean, mental addition also, you, you do. You do with marking or sticks also, but this is the other way number line. Please keep this thing in mind, it's very important, okay? Four plus three is seven. How many of you have understood this? Please give me the thumbs up. Yes. Good. Understood this much? Second operation I'm going to do now. Okay. <clears throat> Here we are going to do on these number only. If I do 7 minus 4, 
Find seven minus four. Seven minus four. Do simply you can say we can write the answer as three. But how to do it on a number line? Just watch carefully. We'll go to number seven. Then you have to do minus. You will move reverse because the number is going to be reduced. You know that in addition, the number is going to be increased. In minus, the number is going to be reduced. Your number gets lessened. In order to be lessened, the number will move on towards the before of the number, right? So, how many hops you have to do? You have to do the four hops. One hop, two hop, three hop, and four hop. The moment you read the four hop, you will get the answer as three. And so, what is your answer? Otherwise, also. Fine. Imagine get subtraction on the number line also. Addition also. This is just introduction. So think it that way. Because it's very important you're going to realize in coming chapter why I'm telling you so. It's go kind of enhance. Okay? Simple up in the hour of number line three you have to do. Correct? Give me the thumbs up who understood the minus concept on the number line. Yes. Give me the thumbs up who have understood the minus concept on the number line. Okay, very good. Moving on to the next multiplication. Moving on to the next, that is multiplication. Fine. <clears throat> now, again, multiply, multiplication operator, how we are going to do this watch carefully. I'm going to do 3 into 2. You will say this 6. I'm going to represent it from the number. Fine. Again, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 5, and the number goes so on. Now, you know that 3 into 2 is 6. Fine. What we are going to do, you will start from 0. You will start from 0, and you will do the hop of 3 two times. Listen to me carefully. You will start with 0. You will do the hop of three two times. You will reach number six. You are starting from zero. First hop is on three. One, two, three hops. Again, three hops. Again, why two times? Because you are multiplying it by the two number. Fine? You are multiplying it by two number. That is why box of three and the gap of three. Two times that is what three to two is equals to six, and you will reach on the number line to the number six. Yes, watch carefully. Understood? Yes, very good. Understood? Students, please be on time. Students, please be on time because we are starting dot on time. 8 20, 9 20, sorry, 9 20 is the class timing, so we start accordingly. 5, 3 to 2 is equal to 6. It's a representation of multiplication on number line. The next concept is division. I'm doing the division of 9 divided by 3. You will say simply, ma'am, 3 is the answer. Right? 9 divided by 3. Okay. I'm going to represent all these numbers. The greater number is 9. Till 9, I'm going to represent all the number line. Watch carefully, carefully how am I going to hop now? 7, 8. So, we are starting with 9. And at the hop of 3 gap, I'm going to hop till I reach 0. Now watch carefully. I'm starting with number 9. Hop of 3 gap. 1, 2, 3. I reach number 6. One, two, three, I reach number three. One, two, three, I reach number zero. Till the remainder turns out to be zero, you have to walk, you have to reach till zero. Fine? Right? This is the way we do the division on number line. Correct? Yes, watch it carefully. It's a bit complex for you at the first glance, but gradually, if you comprehend it in your own way, analysis, then it's going to be better one for you. Right? But you must know how to do it. Correct? This go they go up. 9 to divide by the 3. So I started with 9. At the top of 3, 3, 3. Then I reach number 0. Otherwise, also you know the numbers are 3. And how many hoppings are that? 1, 2, 3. 3 hoppings are that. That is what your question is. Here you have a question. 
कि वाइसी ब्राह्मण को बता दें क्यों सपोज वी आर डिवाइडिंग नाइन बाय थ्री दिस इस अवे दिस इस दैट डिविडेंट दिस इस दैट वाइसो दिस इस दैट क्वेश्चन व्हाटेवर इट इस कम्स वी इस कम्स फाइन एंड दिस इस दैट वे एंड वी हैव रिप्रेजेंटेड ऑल ऑन द नंबर लाइन फाइन ओके Yes. Understood this much? This is the way you have to do the division. Now we are moving on to the properties of whole number. Properties of whole number. We are going to cover now. All of you can give me the thumbs up if you have understood this division. Very good. Now the properties of whole numbers. The first property I'm going to teach you: properties of whole numbers. Fine. Property. The first property is closure property. All of you, I am seeing many of the students have skipped from the video. I want to see you in the video. Yes, everyone, please come into the fray. I want to see you in the video. The first property is your closure property. Fine. Under closure property, we will perform all the four operations. All the four operations. Fine. Addition also, subtraction also, multiplication also, division also. Right. So <clears throat> now, in closure property, if I say a plus b is equal to b plus a, first is addition. Okay, that is it implies if I add three plus two, that is equal to two plus three. You get the same result as five and five, and five is a whole number. Correct. The result is a whole number, and it is reverse. A plus b, so we are a is, and b is a two. Correct. A upon three is, and b upon two is. If you do three plus two or two plus three, you get the same answer five, which is a whole number. Correct. So closure property is good under addition. Closure property is good under addition. Okay. Now I am doing subtraction. If I do a minus b, is it equals to is a minus b equals to b minus a? I am going to show you. B minus two is equals to two minus three. Watch carefully, everybody. Please bend down. This is very important. C minus two is equal to two minus three. You will be surprised. Watch, you have never come across such a scene. The little number, the big number, the little number is minus two. You have never seen. But in this scenario, if we reverse according to the property, we will not get the same result. Because three minus two is plus one, and two minus three is minus one. And minus one is nothing. या भी आप आगे पढ़ोगे इंटीजर्स की कैटेगरी में दिस नंबर इज अस इंटीजर माइनस ऑफ नंबर्स के आगे आप इट फॉल्स इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ इंटीजर ओके यस इन द ब्रैकेट में लिख भी सकते हो आप कैन राइट आल्सो इंटीजर्स राइट फाइन अंडरस्टूड यस अंडरस्टूड सो क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टीज बैड एंड द सबट्रैक्शन नहीं सपोर्ट कर रहा इट इज नॉट सपोर्टिंग यस गिव मी द थम्स अप यस Please, Adish, Bajpayee, Part Sarthi, Jose, please come into the frame. But I am not able to see you. Come into the video. Yes, here also. Yes, many sleeping beauties. Please come into the video. Come into the frame. I want to see you. Yes, I have understood this. Okay. Now, under closure property, it is good under addition, but under subtraction. Let's see under multiplication. Multiplication. If I say a into b is equal to b into a, which implies, if I say three into two is equal to two into three, you will say yes, ma'am. It is having the same result. So that means this property is good under multiplication. Okay, this is good under multiplication. You are getting the same result. That is a whole number. Six is a whole number. It is already whole number. So you are getting the same result if you reverse the order of the numbers. Okay. Yes. Give me the thumbs up if you understood this. Very good. Now, moving on to the next operation that is division. 
Okay, division, I'm going to show this to you, but I'm going to write division. If I say A divided by B, right? A divided by B is equal to B divided by A. I'm going to do for you, yes. If I say 6 divided by 3 is equal to 3 divided by 6, you will be sad now because 6 divided by 3 is 2. You will get the answer as 2. But here, if you divide 3 by 6, you will get the answer as 1 by 2, which is not a whole number. Whole number is not in decimal form. Fine? So this is 1 by 2. You have already studied. It's a fractional form. So all solve forever, you will get 0 0.5 as a result, which is not supporting whole number. So that the result is not matching in both the cases. So this property is bad. Closure property is bad for division. Closure property is bad for division. Okay, for multiplication it was good, for addition it was good, but for division and uh, minus subtraction it is not good. Understood this much? Understood? Okay, give me the thumbs up. If you have understood, give me the thumbs up. Very good. <laughs> Fine. Now, <clears throat> I will give you certain questions. Fine. We'll do certain questions based on this. Practice question based on this property. You can watch video video also on the note it down or you can go to your book also. Your property ko note karna is not necessary. You have to do the question practice question which I'm doing with you. Okay, wo kar baate aapko. And more, yes, everybody will do it in notebook to make questions, whatever I'm doing in the class. In case you miss a point, you can also do the video that is a backup for all you. Okay. Now, I'm giving you certain questions. I'm giving you a few questions based on this. Closure property, you will take it one sort of property. If I say question true or false, find 208 plus 1076 is equals to 1076 plus 208. Okay? 1208 plus 1076 is equals to 1076 plus 208. Yes, will you get the same answer? Yes? Thumbs up. If it is a true, thumbs up. Very good. It's a true. Because if you add 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2, you will get the same answer. But the numbers are bigger. Better please come into the video and see many of the students have to turn off the video. Please come into the frame. Now the next question is, if I ask you 40 minus 72 is equal to 72 minus 42, is it true? Yes. If it is not true, you will do thumbs down. Yes. Very good. It's thumbs down. Very good. It's false. It is not good under subtraction. Okay. <clears throat> Next question is if I ask you 75 into 42 is equal to 42 into 75, up or down, thumbs up or thumbs down? Yes, is it true? Very good. It is true. Now, the part, if I divide 75 by 15 and 15 by 75, thumbs up or thumbs down? Very good. It's false. Very nice. That means you understood the properties. But this is very important. These terms are very important because for the topic. Are we talk topics for you? Are we be doing the same way in a very technical way? So finally, all of you tune up. And I hope this session was interesting for you. Number lines I told you. One of the property I told you. Four questions I've done with you. Thank you so much. Kindly join me tomorrow. Be on time. I don't want anyone. Yes, please be on time. I don't want anyone to be delayed. Because the moment you are delayed, you are going to lose a customer class. Fine. We start dot on time. So all of you try to be on time. Thanks a lot for the class. Be safe at home. Take care of yourself. God bless you all. You complete your work. See you tomorrow at the same time. All of you give me the thumbs up for the day. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. I love it. Take care, Becca. Thank you so much.